Okay, <laughs> I don't even like this style of movie, but I loved this fucking movie. Welcome to Happy Wax TV. Okay, I'm a little late to the party for this one. If you go online, there is literally hundreds of reviews for this movie. I'll be honest, I saw the trailer for it, and I don't I don't know what I was thinking, but I passed on it. I, I have a like I already had a ton of movies I would needed to review and stuff like that. And for some reason, I just I don't know. I don't like home invasion movies, so I just passed on it. It just I just thought it was something that I didn't need to see. But I had a shit ton of subscribers ask me why I haven't been talking about this movie. You know, what did I think about it? You know, a lot of them were asking, should I watch this? You know, is it any good? And I thought, all right, okay, subscribers want, Myron gives. So, <laughs> like, okay. So I sat down and I watched this movie for the, for the sake of the vicious. And I loved this, <laughs> I fucking loved this movie. I watched it twice. As soon as it ended, I watched it for a second time. It is, this is, this is, this is the uh, prime example of low budget gold. I live in Canada. I live in London, Ontario. Okay. This movie was shot in Cambridge, Ontario, which is literally an hour from my house. It is awesome to think that movies like this are being filmed like, you know, in the area where I live, it's it's fantastic that are this good. There's always movies being filmed wherever you live, but a lot of them, you know, whatever. They're they're just low budget garbage. You know, this this is not the case. This movie is absolutely fucking fantastic. It's it's wow. And originally too, they were going to shoot it on a set, and then the production designer quit for whatever reason. So the two directors who are Gabriel Carrere and Reese Eversham. Um, they were kind of scrambling, and thanks to a construction company, they, they got kind of a lead on this house that was going to get demolished in a couple of weeks. So they picked it up and kind of brought it back to life, and they filmed this entire movie, or most of it anyways. There's some outside scenes, but 90%, 95% of this movie is shot inside this house, and I'll tell you, it fucking worked. I would love... Love to know, like, like I don't want. I want to know how many one shot takes they, they they did in this movie because they absolutely destroy this fucking place when the fight scenes are on. It's incredible. Like the whole movie, I was thinking to myself, how do they pull this off? How do they like this is not a set. It's a fucking house, and they they there's fight scenes and they literally destroy the fucking house. I'm like. It's not like they could rebuild it over and over and over again to take 20 takes. It's incredible. The fight scenes in this movie are fucking incredible. You don't, you don't get this style of stunt work and these fights in this budgeted movie. You just don't. Like, <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you. Listen, if you haven't already seen this movie, I know I've talked, you don't even know what it's about yet. I'm just telling you, if you have not seen this movie yet, go just shut this review off. Go watch this movie. I am going to give this movie like a super strong seven and a half, maybe even an eight. I, wow. I don't even like home invasion movies. I love this fucking movie. I'll read you the fucking synopsis. Uh, an overworked nurse returns home to find a maniac hiding out with a bruised and beaten hostage. Uh, when an unexpected wave of violent intruders descend upon her home, it becomes a fight for survival. Okay, well, Laura Burke plays Romina, okay? She's a nurse. She just got off her shift. She's coming home, and she wants to take her son, who I'm assuming lives with her father, uh, out for trick-or-treating, okay? She walks in the door. There's a guy tied up to the fucking kitchen chair, okay, Alan, 
All right. And then Chris attacks her. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. And I'm like, when I first saw this, I was thinking, okay, I don't like these fucking movies. I don't like these home invasion movies. This whole movie is going to be basically him, you know, capturing her, maybe torturing her. Cause I heard it was, was graphic and, and gory. I don't want to ruin this movie for you. If you haven't seen the trailer for this movie, don't watch the trailer. Just go watch the movie. This is like a Tarantino style movie where the first half of this movie is Chris is trying to explain his case to Romina because his daughter supposedly has been raped by Alan, who is the owner of the home that Romina lives in. Okay. And Romina was the nurse that worked on Chris's daughter. I know that Sounds a little confusing, but it's all wrapped up. So Romina is, is kind of unwillingly thrown into the middle of this thing while Chris is, is torturing Alan in her kitchen. She needs to be like judge and jury and, and figure it out. So right around the halfway mark, after Alan's been beat the almost death by Chris, and you feel sorry for Alan because some of the things that he says in his, in, like how he's innocent, you think maybe he is. Maybe Chris has just lost his fucking marbles because his daughter did get, you know, raped and he's, Alan is the, the closest person. He, so you have to get through that story first, okay? And that's the first half. But then Romina <laughs> cuts, cuts Alan away from his confines, okay? And at the halfway point of this movie, the phone call's made, okay? <laughs> and as soon as Alan sends that text out, then it's wave upon wave upon wave of these guys that come to get Alan, okay? But it doesn't go as planned, and it, they're not there to help Alan, okay? I just, I don't want to give spoilers, you just have to watch this. The second half of this fucking movie is absolutely fucking bananas. It's gory, it's, it's so, and what makes it so good, okay? And you have to remember this when you watch this movie. This was shot in like a teeny tiny house, okay? I, I, I listened to an interview with the two directors. It was a house they got last minute because they were gonna shoot this on a set, okay? And they, they the production designer quit. It kinda all went to shit and through a construction company, they got this house before it got demolished. So this is where it's filmed at. And when you see what they do to this house and what they do to each other in this house, it's incredible for a low budget movie. This isn't like a hundred million dollar movie. I don't know exactly what the budget was, but I'm, I, it's low budget. Okay. Like very, very low budget. And to pull off the shots that they did in this movie and the fight scenes in this movie, the bathroom scene alone is incredible. You don't get this type of, of, you know, sh shot imagery and, and these type of stunts in this budgeted style movie you just don't you, you just don't it looks fucking real and I cannot believe that that some like they didn't seriously get injured I guess there was a couple people that you know bang their head and a few cuts and bruises but wow the stunt men in this movie and the stunt women are fucking fantastic how they made this look so realistic like it, it I think they honestly took punches honestly they they must have I was, I was like, holy fuck, this is incredible. <laughs> and the score of this movie, I know I don't really talk too much about score. The score of this movie, this, this synth style score, it just, when the, like when the second wave of these, you know, this, this bite gang comes to the house and it's just the, the synthy pulsing of the lead up to them getting there. It's, it's fucking awesome. And th this is a low budget movie. This isn't some fucking you know, like I said, hundred million dollar movie. It's fucking low budget. And I loved it, man. And I don't like home invasions, but that's what the second half of this movie is. It is just fucking bananas. These two have to survive these waves upon waves of these guys coming into her house, trying to kill them. And it's fucking awesome. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say about this. I already know I'm late to the party. There's like already a hundred reviews up for this movie, but I had a ton of you ask me about this movie. If I talk a little bit about it, um, if I'd give you my thoughts, I just did. For those of you who, who are questioning whether you should watch it, don't. I'm telling you straight up, go watch this fucking movie. It is absolutely awesome. It's called For the Sake of the Vicious. I'm going to end it there. Just, just go watch it, okay? If you've seen it, please let me know what you thought of it. I know that I read a few reviews 
of like professional critics and a couple of them were slamming it. Most of them were on board with it, okay, because they get it. But there's a few bozos out there that like one guy said, I don't, I was 50 minutes into this movie and I didn't know what was going on. Well, then you're an idiot if you can't figure out what the fuck's going on. Just, just let it unfold in front of you and I promise you, you will fucking love this movie. There's no way you can't. This is a fucking great low budget it's gold. It's low budget gold. Anyways, okay, before I start rambling about it, I'm, I'm done. Go watch it. If you've seen it, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you haven't, for the love of fucking God, go rent this movie, please. And then come back and let me know what you think, guys. And yeah, until next time, stay scared.